Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Dusty Tenney, the President and Chief Operating Officer for BioLife uh, Solutions. Uh, today, I've actually got a few of my colleagues here as well. Uh, the Chief Executive Officer of the company, uh, Mike Rice, um, Marcus Schultz, the Chief Revenue Officer, and Todd Berard, our, uh, our Chief Marketing Officer, all of which are here in attendance. I get the uh, pleasure this morning of uh, providing uh, some real good insight into BioLife Solutions and how the company has evolved uh, to you know, provide a broad range of biopreservation tools and services that ultimately deliver a tremendous amount of value uh, in the aspect of everything uh, that we're trying to do from a cold chain uh, perspective. The first thing I'll just uh, footnote uh, is, uh, is the fact that um, uh, there is a safe harbor statement, um, and to that extent, I just put that up there. BioLife Solutions trades on the NASDAQ uh, under the stock symbol uh, BLFS. So from a mission uh, perspective uh, inside the company, um, we've uh, done a, a, a tremendous job. The company was founded uh, uh, based on some uh, tremendous media uh, ca uh, capabilities uh, that uh, came and was developed uh, through a relationship up in New York and then ultimately transitioned to Washington. And by virtue of that, uh, we've uh, uh, taken some steps to actually build out the broad-ranging aspects associated with biopreservation tools and services that ultimately address uh, some rather large markets that are growing uh, pretty fast, both the cell and gene therapy market as well as the biopharma markets. And the combination of those uh, really does create a comprehensive solution uh, from an end-to-end -end perspective in making sure that the quality uh, and efficacy associated with the materials that are being uh, put forward uh, to support these cell and gene therapies ultimately delivers on that respective value proposition. So our, our most important assets uh, really tied to uh, the people that we have inside of our, of our business. Uh, these teams uh, are very focused on the mission uh, that I just outlined as well as uh, making sure that they have good alignment with, with, with respect to the goals and objectives that our respective customers are driving us uh, to provide solutions to. Uh, the entire company is incentivized to provide that value to customers, and to that extent, it's really founded on, on the strength of a quality management system that really drives uh, the importance of delivering these timely solutions uh, to our respective customers. So let me just uh, tie off a little bit with, our, uh, with, uh, with regards to those assets and really bring to light you know, the uh, financial objectives that we have for the company. Um, we are having a, a real strong year at this point in time. Our currently earnings uh, is scheduled for November 11th uh, for, for the Q3 timeframe. Uh, while we think about uh, the next three to four year horizon in which we highlight the fact that our revenue is targeting 250 million, uh, that in essence is about 20 to 25% organic growth on the existing base business. A gross margin profile that is north of 50% uh, and our operating margins uh, north of 30%. Of now, underpinning uh, this, and you'll see this through both the products and the capabilities that we've been able to assemble inside the business, is the fact that these numbers are not predicated on any further acquisitions inside the business nor any other additional applications that would take place by virtue of things that are taking place uh, from, a, from a cell and gene therapy perspective. Uh, the lift that we get from our uh, business, uh, you know, is, is a byproduct of really the expanding markets that we're seeing in, in, uh, um, in cell and gene therapy and really building upon that capability to enable us to, you know, deliver on the operating margins that, that are highlighted here. Now, if I dive a little bit deeper into 2021 and we're sort of uh, through the first, uh, first half and then ultimately uh, trajectory, uh, uh, in, in a trajectory here to close out uh, in Q4, um, we basically report in three, uh, three different segments. There's three segments uh, uh, tied directly to the product profile that I'll share with you in a second. And the first is around cell processing, which is basically the core media business. Uh, we recently acquired uh, Sexton that took uh, effect uh, as of uh, September 1st. The second is around our freezer and thaw line. So this combines our cryogenic capabilities, the recent acquisition of uh, Sterling Ultra Cold back in the May time frame, as well as our Thaw product line. And the last segment uh, that we report in is our storage and uh, cold chain solutions. All three of those, as you can see, are, are growing r r uh, rather fast. 
Um, a byproduct, of course, is the uh, of the freezer and thaw areas is the, is the acquisition of the sterling, which then started reporting back in the March timeframe. These are, 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 are you know tremendous growth trajectories inside the business. Clearly, we're experiencing you know a tremendous lift by virtue of the products and the capabilities that we've been able to assemble together. And as we start to integrate those, uh, the expectation is that we'll be able to continue to progress uh, the growth of those respective businesses going forward. Um, underpinning uh, our ability to be successful um, uh, with everything that we do in and across our business is really found uh, on our quality policy. Uh, Mike Rice uh, has a senior uh, individual, uh, um, Karen Foster, who reports uh, directly in that's responsible for all the quality that we have inside the organization. But as I mentioned to the, in, in the mission, the mission of the company is really founded on quality and everyone you know, from our factory floor all the way up to the senior leadership team has a very vested interest in making sure that we uh, establish ourselves from a quality quality management system. We do have reg uh, regulatory oversight, and, and by virtue of that, we uh, abide by those respective reg uh, uh, reg regulations. And on top of that, uh, we do have good manufacturing uh, practices that we built into the system, which ultimately will harmonize into a single quality management system going forward. You know, we've amassed uh, a lot of great assets inside of our business, but our, our, our strategy has five key points uh, that are materially important here in terms of our continued growth towards the financial objectives that I outlined for 2025. The first is to uh, protect and grow our uh, media business. Uh, that has been core to our business, and clearly with the uh, proliferation of, of trials that are going on in the space, it uh, is a manifestation of us continuing to build on that uh, capability, embed uh, that particular media, both from a cryo store perspective and a hypothermal cell perspective, into that respective um, uh, cell and uh, gene therapy opportunities. The second is really centered around the fact that we've acquired um, five acquisitions uh, here over the last uh, 18 months and, and bringing them into the business and harmonizing them into the BioLife uh, uh, projection is, is materially important in terms of that growth strategy. Um, selective M&A will continue to be on the horizon. Uh, we continue to nurture a couple of unique relationships by virtue of some, some uh, selective investments that we're making, but there are some rich opportunities to continue to build out you know, the broad ranging products and solutions that we've been able to assemble to uh, provide to our customers. And then the, the, the last thing I'll just footnote is really just centered around our ability to cross sell. You know, we brought together um, a number of different uh, sales organizations and distribution capabilities inside the company and as part of the integration, which I'm leading today, um, the effort associated with us uh, driving that to uh, facilitate the growth is materially important in moving it forward. So our, our assets are, are rich and deep at this point in time. As you can see, the foundation uh, piece of that being the media business. As I mentioned, uh, we uh, acquired uh, Sexton and brought that into the portfolio in the early September timeframe. That adds uh, you know, some automation capabilities for you know, the, uh, the uh, fill and finish uh, uh, aspects uh, within the manufacturing spectrum. We've got a, a, a great platform that's uh, tied directly to um, smart uh, logistics uh, and managing samples in a cryogenic fashion. Uh, we've got a cloud-based uh, profile that ultimately supports that portfolio. And, um, and we've also you know, brought on what I would consider is a, a rather unique technology associated with cell and bag, uh, um, a tube and bag uh, capabilities to help uh, control rate thawing. Complementing that all is our freezer platforms. Uh, we believe that uh, we, we sort of uh, know and own the cold in relationship to managing both uh, at ULT temperatures at minus 80 as well as uh, through the cryogenic uh, capabilities that we brought in business. And to that extent, we've added uh, some additional uh, uh, services to our, our uh, portfolio through the SciSafe acquisition that enables us to manage uh, samples for our customers. And uh, over 15 million samples are actually stored inside our biorepositories today. Um, if, if you start to think about the uh, trials uh, that are taking place here, and this sort of sets the stage in relationship to the growth opportunities that we have going forward, this uh, you know, presents you know, some real, real fact base relative to the phases that uh, the trials are in. But suffice to say that we're well positioned uh, as we move and navigate through these. And this will only continue to grow just by virtue of what's taking place in the market and drive this, that's uh, materially important. There are three um, major challenges that um, we address 
uh, with the products and services that we have in our portfolio. One is around preservation. The second is centered on uh, temperature, and the third is centered around handling. And each one of those elements are very critical in terms of the viability and the efficacy associated with the biologic materials that our customers are asking us to help them manage. And to that extent, by virtue of the challenges that exist there, um, making, making and doing that right is, is equally as important. And you can start to think about the complexities associated with all those respective elements in terms of the challenges that uh, our customers are also experiencing, which is really centered around how they get paid. And ultimately, there is a significant risk profile that many of our customers are experiencing at this point in time that create challenges associated with whether they do or don't get paid, you know, based on those three critical elements um, associated with preservation, temperature management, as well as the handling uh, capabilities. And that's where the focus of BioLife is. It's been able to really put those t capabilities together in a unified kind of way to create a solution uh, for customers. We, um, we play in some rather large markets. Uh, this is a sort of a $14 billion um, addressable market uh, for us inside of our business. And uh, we've uh, uh, taken the opportunities through acquisitions and building out the portfolio to really uh, put ourselves in the, in the sweet spot associated with these very fast and growing markets that, that exist out there. So let me just uh, you know, take the opportunity to talk about our portfolio a little bit. Um, there are three uh, major areas uh, that uh, we put some emphasis. One, of course, is around uh, the source collection. The second is around manufacturing and the dose preparation. And as I walk through this, I'll get into specific detail, but all of our products uh, play in and across that particular uh, workflow. And we've got solutions that sort of track and, and enable uh, the aspect of preservation, temperature management, and handling uh, throughout those uh, three phases. Our first is, uh, in, in uh, the established uh, portfolio, is our cryo store uh, capabilities. This is a media that is benchmark. Um, it, uh, you know, go, it has a, the uh, a tremendous uh, impact in relationship to homebrew uh, solutions that are in the market today, and clearly it differentiates itself, you know, based on the purity uh, dynamics that, that exist there, and clearly as you start to think about all the elements associated with handling and stress associated with the, the cells that are being collected, uh, this media is, is, uh, is very, very important. Uh, and on a refrigerated basis, hyperthermosol is our, our uh, second uh, media product uh, that we have in a portfolio. Again, more so for refrigeration and ultimately uh, t uh, cell and tissue storage. Um, again, from a handling perspective, very critical in terms of that journey. Um, we've uh, you know, been quite uh, blessed in terms of being uh, positioned as it relates to the many uh, applications that our customers are making. Uh, and as you can see, there's sort of a growing profile associated with that as many of those customers adopt the media that we have in our business and ultimately uh, enable that to take place. This will continue to enable the growth uh, uh, projections that, that I've uh, pres uh, presided on. I think this chart to sort of uh, uh, put some context to it. You know, we're involved in, in all the you know, approved uh, therapies out there, whether that be BMS, Blue River Bio, uh, or K Kite Pharma. Um, these are good representative uh, examples of how our media is being used to support their uh, respective therapies. Our Thalstar product, as I mentioned, is really uh, uh, as uh, you're preparing the uh, cell and gene therapy you know, prior to dosing. Um, this basically is a controlled rate uh, thawing device, both for vial as well as for bags. Um, it's a unique technology that we've been able to deploy and ultimately it's you know, shown its value. In addition to that, we provide a full range of cryogenic solutions, you know, combined with racks and, and, uh, and uh, tracking devices, um, you know, from, a, um, uh, from the aspect of alarms and things of that nature. And by virtue of uh, putting this uh, capability in place and the long-term storage, it's a very unique uh, device in, in the sense that it uh, eliminates uh, cross-contamination, um, unlike many of the other cryogenic solutions that are out in the marketplace. Um, as we start to think about the connectivity um, in smart shippers and moving uh, cell and gene therapies uh, within, the business, within our customers' uh, framework from site to site uh, globally, uh, we've partnered with, uh, with uh, many of the large logistics providers to actually provide the solution and ultimately provide the capability through our smart shipper um, and the Evo platform that we've developed to basically provide real-time information to our customers relative to those respective shipments. Complementing that uh, is our Sterling Ultra Low Temperature Freezer Systems. 
Uh, these uh, freezer systems, you know, have a wide range of temperatures between minus 20 and minus 86, you know, which provides support for all biologic material, net of cells and tissues. And by virtue of that, it uh, creates a, a continuum on a full range of products, as you can see, large, medium, and uh, portable, uh, which has been used in the marketplace to support some of the vaccine uh, deployment. And um, Sexton is a recent acquisition, just brought in uh, to the portfolio. Um, it provides a full range of automation and the antigens that uh, ultimately you know, address some of the broader uh, things that we're trying to do in the media portfolio. And the last thing I'll just footnote is, even though you're seeing sterling freezers there, is the fact that we do provide a solution, a biorepository solution for customers that are looking to outsource their sample management. As I mentioned, we have over 15 million samples in our bio, respective biorepositories, so a complete holistic uh, capability. Our leadership team um, is rich and deep. I'd mentioned a couple of the key um, senior managers that are here, and by virtue of the experience that um, the collective uh, team has put, been put together, uh, the focus that the company has in relationship, this team has done you know, some extraordinary things and continues to do some extraordinary things in terms of how we lead and guide uh, the business strategically going forward. And I'll just uh, footnote uh, the fact that we do make uh, and have made, as we did with Sexton, um, some initial investments. And we've got two, uh, two companies that uh, we've made some small investments into to help facilitate uh, their development uh, on a pathway to assess and evaluate their capabilities as a potential candidate to become part of uh, the BioLife Solutions. So the four things I'd like for you to take away um, from, uh, from our discussion this morning, one is really centered around the fact that we do have you know, what I consider as best-in-class bioprocessing uh, tools and capabilities. Again, really the heart of our capability is uh, centered around media, but by virtue of the acquisitions, we've actually put together a, a holistic solution that ultimately addresses the ability to provide safety and security around uh, cell and gene therapies that are being moved all over the world today. The second thing I'll just uh, footnote is the fact that um, we, we have and continue to expand our customer base, and by virtue of that, um, these sticky uh, customer relationships help us to ultimately enable the capability to cross-sell in and across uh, those respective companies. We're going to continue to do M&A, and that's uh, you know, very selective in terms of where and how we continue to add to the capabilities inside the portfolio. And the last thing I'll just footnote is that we are a very rapidly growing business and continue to see not only the end markets uh, as very positive trends for us, but ultimately the underlying assets that we have inside of our business as the pathway going forward. Thanks to all of you. Enjoy the day.